Wuminjika. <laughs> You've just said welcome in the Wurrung language of the people of the Wurundjeri country. Welcome to Wurundjeri country. I've often said it takes a village to raise a child. Look at this fantastic village right here in Mountain South. It's so great to see everybody here today at the Big Dream Festival. There is so much happening and the vibe is really positive. Dream big, feel good. It's how we should all play and live our lives. The whole idea of the Dream Big Festival came from the pair of earrings I'm wearing right now. Um, I wore them to a school one day and all the children loved them and wanted to know how to make their own. So we did a couple of workshops teaching dream catches to children and it caught on. I think it's amazing. It's actually uh, the people that have come out are, are people that don't normally get an opportunity to go to something like this. It's, it's good for people coming out and meeting, meeting friends and getting together with my friends and it's getting me out of the house for a couple of hours. Well, I think it's wonderful and I've told so many people about it. So many people out and about and so many people enjoying themselves and coming out with smiles on their faces. When the community comes together and gets involved and, you know, sort of shares their their gifts and their talents that can really um, make a difference to you know just people and, and, and the way they feel. It's like an opening for everybody to come and join in and be part of it and you know like it's not trying to push people from on the outside out it's, it's sort of like inviting them in to come and see what it's all about. Seeing that the, the community of Melton South can come together and and just put forward a really positive message to the rest of to the rest of Melton. I had so many people come up to our stall and are interested in some advice for healthy eating. Daniel and I were just in the circus tent before doing a bit of a hip hop routine with some other people from the community and I think it's been such a good thing to get everybody together. I'm very proud to be Australian, very proud that my grandchildren are actually Indigenous, that they have gone back to their culture and learning more about it and having a better understanding. I also thought the particular one on Racism was extremely good because um, it's something that I constantly put into their heads about children. We're all individuals, we're all different, but we are all the same and we live in this country. We're here representing the Uniting Church and letting the people of Melton South know that we're there. And we provided soup here today for about 200 people. Just the gathering of all the schools coming together and um you know, here for a good cause, as a fundraiser, you know, for the children's hospital and everything else. I know the poverty that's in the area, and I know that the stigma that people put on it. And it's just wonderful to see everybody coming here and mingling and not seeing it as uh, an area that a stigma is attached to. I'm very proud of my son. It's the first time that I've ever heard him rap, and, and he's very proud of himself too, knowing that, that he can do it regardless of what he may think. It's, it's getting the feedback of other people that, that actually gives him that confidence to that he can pursue his dreams. That's really important when you're encouraging children to perform live and to put their own artwork and their own creations out there for other people to see, to be resilient when things might go wrong or to, or to stick with it when you're having problems. They were very enthusiastic and they were very, very good. They were, they were very talented. There's a lot of talent in Mountain South. I think they gained in confidence and it's good for the self-esteem, I think, and um, the sense of belonging to the community. I'm going to the show tonight and it's going to be awesome. It's helping Mountain and building a better city. Hoping that this sort of thing catches on and that the Linking Mountain South project can continue to make this an annual event and that the local artists and local schools continue to support things like this because it, it's great to the community spirit and it's great to see the positive energy that comes from it. I appreciate all these sorts of um, events that come along. So yes, from a grand grandmother who's always watching her pennies, I appreciate today for that, for that reason. To be part of, you know, it's like, it's like one great big family getting to know and joining in and just having fun. Yeah.